Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thanks for checking in. I'm out here. I don't know if you can see him back there. My nephew Jared, my backwoods buddy. We're out here doing a little bit of metal detecting in the uh, back country. And uh, we're just walking these old roads. Now, a lot of stuff falls off trucks. There's people hiking just over the years. You know, a lot of these truck trails were old mule uh, wagon train trails stuff fell off wagons and stuff fell off trucks all the time so we're just out here scanning the uh, sides of the road and just walking and just having a good time so uh, come along and join us we're out here messing around today we're using a uh, Garrett AT Max playing around trying to learn this I had an old Garrett God it was probably 30 years old it worked really good but uh, I lost that in my house fire a couple years ago. And uh, Jared and I started talking about prospecting and treasure hunting. So uh, we're getting ourselves some uh, Garrett metal detectors, but uh, it gives us a reason to come out here, like we need a reason to come out here and play around out in the woods. But uh, you never know what you're gonna find. You could find old coins, could find old mining tools could find stuff maybe you shouldn't find I don't know but uh, if we do find it we're gonna take you along for the ride so folks are probably wondering yeah that's my backwoods Jeep right there she's been sidelined for a little while I got a leak in the differential I got to get that fixed I certainly do not want to break down out here in the back country because uh, getting a tow truck out here would be a major pain but uh, we're babying the old girl, and uh, I'm gonna put some money into her, put some new shocks on, and a uh, steering dampener, and get her ready for uh, the winter season. So the biggest thing we're finding, people leaving their ammo casings. So we're getting readings, thinking that it's coins and stuff, but uh, we're gonna take our trash out with us but there's casings probably all over the place, so we're gonna have to keep moving down the road. Some of the tools of the trade. GPS, and a quick show of my map. I'm gonna show you where my gold's at. So we're out here in the back country, just cruising along, having a good time, and uh, that's the good thing about fall out here. The weather's perfect today. It's probably what, mid-70s, would you say? Yeah. Low 60s, mid 70s. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna try to get him to talk more on camera. We're gonna we're gonna break his camera shyness. Maybe today. So come on. We're going down the road. Okay, you guys might recognize this area right here about four years ago. Man, time flies by fast is where I filmed a fox that was sitting right up there, right almost a little bit past where Jared is. And uh, we just played cat and mouse for a while. I'll leave a link to that video in the description down below. If you guys follow along on the channel for any length of time, you've probably seen that video. But for all you newcomers to the channel, check it out. It's a pretty cool video. So we're going to sneak up there and hopefully there's no wild critters hiding out in there. So looks like a fox or a coyote got a bird and ate him up here this is a water source of this old mine obviously we're not going to go back there we're not going to risk our lives and get in that janky water but uh yeah look you got to be careful around here because rat poop you can get all sorts of diseases so stay out of the mines but uh we're gonna metal detect in and around this area, see if anybody dropped anything. And uh, if we find anything, we're gonna bring you along. So we had a couple tones and we dug down, but uh, the rocks here are so mineralized that we're just getting a ton of different signals all over the place. So, uh, you know, I'm still learning the machine. So the better I learn it, the better we're gonna get at being able to cherry pick what's good and what's bad. But the hunt continues. Let's go. A lot of people wonder why I carry a firearm. This is why right here. That is a full-size cougar track. 
just right outside this mine shaft, which makes me wonder if the cougar isn't held up in there. So I think we're gonna exercise just a little bit of caution around here. Now, like I said about these old mines, you want to stay out to stay alive. We just saw some rats running up into the ceiling fixture down in there. But uh, you need to stay out of there if we don't know what the status is of this mine. Last thing you want to die of is uh, suffocation from carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, or it cave in on you. So stay out and stay alive unless you go into a known one. Some of these, the timbers are just rotted out. So you just never know what's uh, gonna happen in here. So a lot of times I get messaged on what sort of EDC fixed blade am I carrying on my outdoor adventures? Well, today I'm carrying a Sly Steel Skeletech Bushcraft knife. Now, I featured this knife on the channel a couple months ago, the prototype. I'll leave a link in the video description below. Me and Christopher from Black Rifle Survival uh, showcased it where we attempted to do a bow drill fire. And I have to be honest, I suck at doing bow drill fires, but it wasn't a nice fault, it was clearly my fault. So I'm doing some long-term testing on this blade. Look for a follow-up review, possibly in a month or two, and uh, we'll give you an update on this. But let's get back in the Jeep and let's get down the road. We got gold to find. I think we're gonna get out of here. I was digging just down there and within close proximity, I heard a low growl. So given the fact that we saw that cougar track, I think it's probably uh, best to err on the side of safety and uh, probably bug out of here. I don't wanna be uh, cougar bait unless I'm like hanging out having beers at the VFW. So we're oh, just no, no. scanning it's, this campsite it's a, uh, and uh, we came across something with it. What is that, Jared? Dig that out. Put up a shotgun. Freaking shotgun shell. Damn it. Yeah, it came up shooting about a 70 on the, uh, on the Garrett. So more junk out here. People busting caps out in the woods. This wraps up our adventure today. We've been on about some days you find stuff, some days you don't, but the most important part is you're with family, good friends, and you're creating memories that are worth its weight in gold. So priceless. It is priceless. So folks, thanks for coming along on our little misadventure, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care. Peace out.